Hi, welcome to Lesson 2. We will learn on Design of Steel Structures BS, EN. At the end of this Lesson 2, students should be able to understand the relevant code of practice and able to understand the basic concepts of structural steel element, plastic and elastic design methods. Introduction to the Euro Codes The Euro Codes are a new set of European structural design codes for building and civil engineering works. Conceived and developed over the past 30 years, they are arguably the most advanced structural codes in the world. There are 10 structural Euro Codes, covering design principles, loading on structures, design with different materials, geotechnical design and design for earthquake resistance. The 10 Euro codes are shown below. Euro code, basis of design. Euro code 1, actions on structures. Euro code 2, design of concrete structures. Euro code 3, design of steel structures. Euro code 4, design of composite steel and concrete structures. Euro code 5, design of timber structures. Euro code 6, design of masonry structures. Euro code 7, geotechnical design. Euro code 8, design of structures for earthquake resistance, and Euro code 9, design of aluminium structures. The way they fit together is shown in the diagram, they comprised of basis of design, actions on structures, design and detailing and finally geotechnical and seismic design. The 10 Euro codes are further divided into parts covering individual types of structures, such as buildings, bridges, silos, towers and masts. In total, there are 58 parts to the 10 Euro codes. There are only 3 Euro codes used in design of steel structures namely Euro code, Euro code 1 and Euro code 3. Previously, at the early structural design, the design taken to be within elastic range of the materials. Then they needs result in change but the design remains within the elastic range. But was it making the best use of the materials capacity? Then only Europe to consider plastic design and called it limit state design whereas the factors of safety applied to materials and loadings plus on combinations of loads. The two parameters that determine the elasticity of a material are its elastic modulus and its elastic limit. The elastic limit of a material is the amount of deformation or strain that the material can experience, and still return to the original configuration when the load is removed. The plastic limit occurs when the material reaches the maximum plastic deformation, so called the breaking point. We can graph the relationship between stress and strain on a stress-strain diagram. For stresses beyond the elastic limit, a material exhibits plastic behavior. Limit state design, LSD, refers to a structural engineering design method. A degree of loading or other actions imposed on a structure can result in a limit state, where the structure's condition no longer fulfills its design criteria, such as, fitness for use structural integrity, durability, and so on. Limit states are conditions of potential failure. The concept of limit state design first applied in Russia in the 1930s, by McKinsey, and consists of two aspects. They are serviceability limit state and ultimate limit state. Serviceability limit state in which a condition for example deflection, vibration or cracking which is unacceptable to the owners of the structure. Ultimate limit state in which the structure, or some part of it, is unsafe for its intended purpose. Modes of failure can be compressive, tensile, shear, a flexural failure or instability lead to total or partial collapse of the structure. Eurocode 1990 Basis of Structural Design Describes Four Ultimate Limit States EQU, Loss of Static Equilibrium of the Structure SDR, 
internal failure or excessive deformation of the structure. GEO, failure or excessive deformation of the ground. FAT, fatigue of the structure. Thank you for your attention. You are awesome.